Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike. We are back with another IAA walk around where we show you some of the cool cars and trucks they have here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I found something that you don't see a lot of and to see one that actually has power in it is pretty amazing. Yeah, it's the old BMW bangle butt right there. So we're gonna check out this car and some other cars and show you just how easy it is for you to park one of these in your own driveway. And yeah, there's a lot of people out here kind of watching me thinking I'm crazy because I'm talking to myself. They think I've lost it. I haven't lost it. I just like weird old cars. So here she is from the back, 750 L-I, L Limousine. This is the one with the gigantic rear door, normal size front door. This is a 2008 BMW, okay? Notorious for all kinds of problems. As far as the outside goes though, this is actually in pretty good shape. I don't see a whole lot wrong with it. And because she has power, it means we get to try to give her a start. This looks really good. For some reason, I've always wanted one. Everybody's gonna tell you, don't. They're gonna say, don't buy these things. All the electrical problems, the relays, they were just way too complicated back in the day. And now that things are going bad, they are really, really, really terrible cars to own. But if you have one of these and you like it, be sure to let me know. Oh, I like it. I like that exhaust. Holy moly. Left rear turn signal malfunction. We got about a quarter of a tank of gas. There is no power steering. Okay, there is no power steering. We have the airbag light on. But this seat is so comfortable. Heated and cooled seats right there. This is nice. Okay, we have brake drive malfunction, parking brake fault. Every light on the dash is on. ABS, park, tire pressure, parking brake, seat belt. Every, <laughs> every light thing except for the check engine light. Okay. Well, what happens when we try this? Nope. Nope. It won't let me. Brake drive malfunction. Transmission fault. Drive moderately. Everything is blinking at me. I don't know what to do. There's so much going on. Okay, but let's listen to the exhaust. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's show you the engine very, very quickly. Ugh. I can't believe it actually started though. I really can't. And now we have the fan coming on. Come on, fan, keep going. Look at this. Look at how clean it is. Come on, fan, keep going. This is actually in really good shape. I just don't like how the fan doesn't come on, so I'm not gonna let the engine run for too long at all. She's trying to cool off, but she can't. That is clean. That is really, really clean. Okay, very quickly, let's show you the back seat. Behind this giant door, which is not unlocking, of course. <clears throat> Where's the lock and unlock? Where's your lock and unlock button? Here. Well, it doesn't work either. This doesn't work either. In fact, that little button just fell off. Okay, so let's try it this way. There we go. <laughs> This is a hot mess. Yeah, that's a hot mess. We'll just turn that off. We'll show you this part right here. She was not happy at all, but take a look at the size of this back seat. You could do anything back here. This used to be the best they had, and <laughs> now it's like the worst they've ever had, ever. Do you like these? Yes, no, let me know. We're gonna take the key out turn her off, let her cool down, and we're gonna put this back to where it was. 
which is, where was it? Right here. There we go. Stay right there. Stay, baby, stay. Okay, let's find something that actually works and will get us down the road. Do you remember when everyone was doing those faux walls back in the day? I never knew that it actually transferred over to vehicles. Someone did the faux treatment on this car. These are brush strokes and dab strokes of paint on this car. There's gold, there's gray, there's white. Oh, look at this. Look at the swirl marks. What do you think about this? Was this an art teacher car? My mother was an art teacher. I don't think she would do this to her car. This is just amazing. This is, how do you value that or devalue that when you're looking at <laughs> cars? There's what it used to be. Yeah, and now it's, and now it's this, which is fantastic. That's, that's a thing there, folks. Yeah, but we're gonna keep on looking. Well, here you go. How about an old school Lexus slash Camry? Yeah, these gave Lexus such a good reputation. This is a 2000 ES300 that really seems to be in good shape because the gold is still gold. They have a little gold plaque right here for you as well. Paint is in good condition. I like the two-tone. I really do with the kind of gray on the bottom. Um, and the white on top. This is, even this part is gold. This car has been parked inside. Absolutely. She's been, wow. Okay. Well, so she has been taken care of, I bet you. You think she's going to start? Let's see what the back looks like. This is in good shape. Look how clean this is. What is up with these cars? I need to close this. Maybe not. Oh, I don't want that to interfere with me getting in or out. Okay, so there is some wear and tear on the driver's seat, but somebody left this on. Doggone it. Why people do this, it just makes me mad. It really does. I'm out here with all these different guys, and they do it on purpose. Uh, look at the wood. The wood's in good shape. This is nice. This is really, really nice. You even get a little, well, that, it actually works. It still works. There's your CD player. There's your <laughs> Bluetooth, the little cassette that plugs into your phone. Yep, 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 yep. I bet this would be a nice, nice little car. Looks like the hood is open. Let's just see what she's got. Look how clean. Okay. Is there any kind of a timing belt sticker anywhere? I don't see one. I don't. Um, so we don't know if the timing belt has been changed. That's the only bad thing about these cars. And the side that that hood is so freaking heavy. Okay. Well, this would be a risk. What do you think? Is, would it start? Why is it here? If it's in such good shape, such perfect condition, why is it here? I can't start it because my little thing is out of juice now. I've been <clears throat> using it before, if you know what I'm saying. So we're just kind of SOL on this one, but how? I haven't seen one in this good shape. Lost type is other, it has biohazard. Um, doesn't have start, doesn't have engine start video, doesn't have the mileage. So, I don't know. I really don't know. So this is a very, very risk e car. Yeah, very risky car. I would purchase it if it was cheap. Car Donation Foundation, so it's been donated. So, I don't know. What do you think? Is it worth it or not? And finally, from a 2000 to a 2007 Lexus, this is the uh, GS series, right? Is that what this is? GS350, and they got her parked so close to these other vehicles. Damage, there is a little bit on the back. We've got a headlight or a tail lamp, corner lamp that's off a little bit. Um, you're missing your bumper. I think your 
trunk is okay. I would, and this is okay. Your support right there, that seems to be okay. There is some scratches, nothing major. So you, let's look in here. Okay, so this is pushed in a little bit right here, right in through here. So give yourself a pull, tire to a tree, chain her to a tree, drive off for a little bit, pull that out straight. You still got your nuts and bolts right there and she'd be fine. What's the inside look like? Let's see here. Oh, okay, so they had a pack rat living back here. Look at that. These, the world's messiest kids lived in this car. And they like their bugles and Cheetos. Yeah, there's a definite smell. This isn't a clean car. Ooh. <coughs> Ooh. Yeah, this is a mess. Can I even get in? Here we go. We're going in, we're going in, we're going in. Oh, wow. This is, yeah, this is, it used to be a great car. My friend Missy had one of these forever and just loved it. This one's absolutely dead though. I don't like this, this red wood-ish. I guess it would be nice if everything was clean in here. You got a cool screen. Lexus reliability. I kind of like this almost chrome look, the brushed aluminum look for your uh, instrument cluster. The dials right there is nice. You get a GPS. This is just so dirty. There's your key right there. So this is a, yeah, this is definitely heated seats, but ugh, ugh, this is bad. <coughs> How bad could the engine be? Well, we pulled the hood release and we can't get it to we can't get it to release so we can't even get under there to see what it is but at this point yeah this is a big pass she's just so dirty so bad yeah it's very rare that i walk away from a car that has potential but just something the vibes on this one just say she's history i don't know why i would hope not somebody will save her but just I just get the bad juju feel, okay? Anyway, thank you for watching these videos, everybody. Big thanks to everybody at IAA here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm losing my voice. I'm fighting whatever's going around the country right now with this, uh, the bug. It's bad, it's really bad. And tomorrow I have to head out to my other auction site and do some more of those walk around videos. We'll see how the voice holds out. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this car or the other car or the channel itself, okay? Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.